Shabbat Shalom. Welcome to Thought for Shabbat. So glad you're with me on this Friday afternoon. In a few hours, we'll begin Shabbat, and on Saturday morning, we'll read the Torah portion known as Kitisa, which speaks of Moses up on the mountain with God receiving the Ten Commandments and the whole of the Torah. And they hear rumblings at the bottom of the mountain. And God says to Moses, go check this out, see what your people are doing. I'm giving you the commandments. I am your God. And what are they doing? They're building a golden calf and calling it God and making a holiday out of it. So much so that God is incensed, that Moses is incensed, and their anger gets the better of both of them. And the issue of anger is one that has come up in our tradition time and time again, because we are all inclined to get angry when we are disappointed. We are all inclined to be upset when things don't go our way. We are all inclined to be mad when somebody's done us wrong. But anger, it gets us very short distances. It might make us feel better in the moment, but it does not necessarily make us feel good for the long term. Getting to what's underneath anger is really, really what's most important. That is one's frustration one's disappointment, one's sense of something being unfair. The Pirkei Avot, that is part of the Talmud, the ethics of our fathers, says or asks the question, who is the strong one? And the answer is the one who conquers his impulse. As it says, slowness to anger is better than a mighty person, and the ruler of his spirit he is better than the conqueror of a city, is stronger than the conqueror of a city. That is to conquer one's anger, to be slow to anger, it takes work and it takes effort, but it actually makes you stronger than anybody who can conquer a whole city um, or, or the strongest person you know who could lift a thousand pounds. The kind of strength we're talking about is the kind that helps us be the best version of ourselves so that when we are upset, we tap into that which made us upset and we act according to that, not according to just the anger part, just the disappointment part. That's our work for this Shabbat. Let us monitor ourselves. Let us think to ourselves, how can we navigate our anger, get to the core issues, and then solve them without losing our temper? Let that be our work, our holy work, on this Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. Join us tonight at 6.30 online or in person for Tat Shabbat and 7.30 for regular Shabbat. Thank you so much and have a great, great weekend. Stay safe. Be well.